everybody, welcome to the stock. Welcome back if you've been here before. I'm Ian Mershroom, and today we got another game of Commander for you guys. And Chris is running back his deck from the last video. I think it was like four or five days ago. It was on Sunday. He's playing Rehan and Yoshimaru, the best boy. This is a hardened scales Abzan deck. He uses cards like hardened scales. The Ozolith branching evolution to create all these plus one plus one counters and all his creatures. And he's got a few ways to generate infinite mana. He usually tries to wrap the game up using the card Walking Ballista, infinite mana, make a huge ballista, and then just keep taking counters off it so you can shoot everybody to death. Other than that, it's kind of a grindy mid range plan and it's just kind of Abzan value. It's a very strong deck. I think this is our second time seeing it on the main channel and it's like the fourth time you guys have had the opportunity to see it just watching all of the channels from the stack. Then we've got another repeat. We've got Ishin to Heavens is one, but this time it's not being piloted by Foley. It's actually a different version of the deck. It was made by Calvin. The budgets are actually similar. That is, there are no budgets put on the, the like restrictive uh, building. Or, there's no budget to these decks. They're both like well above a thousand. I think they both come in at under two thousand, but they're quite expensive. And this is just a deck that wants to abuse Ishin's ability, which causes any trigger that would be triggered by attacking with one of your creatures. It's doubled, so there's a lot of stuff that involves melee. Calvin's build actually leans into one of Calvin's favorite tropes, with this, which is which is dungeons in his opening hand he has an adar selfless paladin and that triggers twice when you attack with an ishin in play meaning you're double venturing it gets kind of crazy and for the most part this is going to be very similar to the ishin deck that fully played last week and no don't worry we're not running the same pod that we did a few days ago twice to the next two commanders we're not in the last pod We'll start with me, it's a familiar commander if you've been on this channel for any amount of time. It's my Gavi Nest Warden build, and this is a cycling tribal deck. The concept is really simple, just grind a ton of value with cards that cycle, and cards that care about things that cycle, enter Astral Slide and Astral Drift. But the end game is actually this convoluted like six plus card combo. There's a few ways to stitch it together, and if you aren't, it's cool. I'll, try, I'll probably try to update everyone who isn't already a patron at some point, but I'm getting ready to update my Gavi deck with some new stuff, and I do wanna share that. I don't know whether I'm gonna do it here on YouTube, or if it's gonna be like a patron exclusive post, I have no clue yet, but um, just in case it's a patron exclusive post, link is in the description if you wanna be a patron, get on the Discord. It's really, there's some cool stuff going on in there. And last but not least, we have Foley playing one of his personal decks. It's Clothis, God of Destiny. And this is a Gruul group slug deck. The idea is to play a bunch of usually symmetric, like group slug pieces, like Harsh Mentor, just things that punish people for taking game actions, Zozu the Punisher, things like that. But then he wants to use Clothis in order to like, kind of break symmetry on all that group slugging in order to gain a little bit more life than everyone else is able to maintain keeping up with. So the idea is that once the group slug is all done, his life total is just a little bit higher. And he wins by not dying. He, he dies last. That's his actual win condition. Other than that, that's everything you should need to know. Um, thank you for sponsoring his Pandemonium Games and Hobbies. Oh, and have you considered, maybe you, maybe you need a new playmat. Maybe you need a... We made an ad. Hey, you, watching this right now, have you considered playmats? Right now on InkGaming.com, you can find the Pandemonium Bobble Playmat, what we play in the stack, available in all four colors, starting from $24.99. You can also head over to the actual Pandemonium Game and Hobbies on Middlebolt Road in Garden City, across the street from City Hall, to find the two exclusive mixes sold locally at $19.99. Pandemonium can be found online at PandoGames.com, and the links to the playmats can be found in the description. You want to do card game? Yeah, this corner everyone is like, we're on the mushroom. Card game. That's one of the Magic the Gathering. Yeah, Magic the Gathering is a game play. Who wants the winning card? Not you. Not me. Not you. I want the winning card. Here's the winning card. Yay. Here's also the winning card. Wait, what? And here's the winning card. I thought I was special. Ein, zwei, drei, vier. See, he cheated. He knew it. That's bad. Fully spoiled. Spurs. Force, tap. Don't forget to draw for turn. You gotta do that. <laughs> this one, this is for me to you. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Untap, upkeep, draw. <laughs> Forest, tap, land on what else. Go. Yeah, that's fast. Uh, don't mind me. I have a pretty simple turn. So we're, uh, Savannah this. pass, that's sweet. Nope. Soaring. Oh. Uh-huh. Yep, yep, yep. Signet. Yep. yep oh. Yep, yep. Uh, uh, Yoshi Mark. Oh. Oh. Fucking best boy. We've been here. Turn before. one best boy of the For anyone who watched the video that was recently uploaded, uh, there was a, another game where Chris had played Rayhan, Last of the Abzan. And um, he could have won that game, or he could have like gotten so close to winning that game if he had swapped the order that he played Walking Ballista and uh, Hanging Back Walker, right? Yeah, I'm a little. I was. Uh, I did. I did it wrong. You guys probably already figured that out in the comments, though, right? <laughs> yeah. Draw for turn. Ooh, that's a hanger too. Oh my fucking god! 
Ancient Tomb. Pass the turn right after I lose two life and play this Arcane Signet. Ow! Go ahead, Gellum. <laughs> I, Planes, uh, tap. I also have my Soul Ring, but no Signet. I'm gonna cast a Lightning Greaves. Everyone's going so fast. Pass. Hey, slow down. We can Untap. slow down. Upkeep, draw. Yeah. Let's go with a Rootbound Crag. I have a forest. You what? should. Turn two coffins. Turn two cloth with nothing in the graveyards. Who? For now. For, For now. now. I am playing. You are playing the cycle. You yeah, this is the cycle in bag. I am going to do it. Yeah. Here's this. <laughs> Go ahead. Untap. Upkeep. Draw a magic card. I didn't draw a land. Uh, unfortunately, I kept a wildlander. Um, yeah. Oh. However. That's a, that's a shame. That's a shame. It, it, I see why. You have your four mana. Yeah. Me and my four mana. How? How shameful. I want to play the Ozolith. Trigger! This is a legendary artifact. I just had to play against Fucking wild, huh? Modern, bro. Uh, you know what's even more wild? I'm going to use a colorless that I have floating in this, and I'm going to cast a Willow Dusk Essence Seer. And he gets another counter. What is that even? What? Is it? It's a command. It's one of the old commanders that just came that came out a while ago. Uh, I could pay one, choose another target creature, put a put a number of one one counters on it equal to the life you gained this turn or the life you lost, whichever is greater. Activate only as a sorcery. Pay one tap, right? Yeah, pay one tap. Okay. Is that it? Are you gonna uh, dog no, somebody? We're gonna we're gonna dog somebody. Uh, I don't have any creatures, so this uh, is not a creature right now. Come, we're gonna dog you. I've been dogged for three commander mm -hmm. damage. Uh, raw Good. dog. Yep. Raw dog. Professional raw dogger. Draw for turn. Um, I'm gonna play a basic mountain. It is my land for turn. Oh. I'm very scared. I'm gonna lose two life though. I'm a professional at losing tons of life to my mana bases. I'm gonna tap mana, ancient tomb, two mana. Here's a containment construct. Okay, what does it do? Shoot Whenever it. I discard a card, I may exile the card from my graveyard. If I do, I can play it this turn. Shoot okay. it. <laughs> Shoot it with fire. It's gonna be fine. I'll pass turn. It's not gonna be it's fine. It's gonna be fine. Oh boy. You are lying to me. Untap, upkeep, draw. Uh, I am going to play a Bloodstained Mire. Yeah. Hey, do you want to put that in your graveyard? Uh, I don't need to right now. I'm sorry. I'm going to tap for three. I'm going to play Nadar. Nadar. That's what good. Hey, it's his favorite. Hi, Nadar. Um, He's going to venture to the dungeon. Dungeon time. You know what? Just three fully. I will actually put It only gives me now. land. Or it only gives me mana. It does not do the damage. It'll be fine. I'm going I'm to crack this now uh, before I do venturing stuff because yeah. the first one's a scry. Yeah. So trigger on the stack. Yeah. So off the Bloodstained Mire, I found a Savai Trium, which was just enter tapped. Now ETB Venture Trigger. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go into the mine and I'm gonna scry one. Whee! Uh, hmm. He likes venturing. Right. I, it's my fucking favorite mechanic. Uh, I'm gonna keep this on top. D and D is Dino Might. D and D. When that fight D and D. Power Luda. D and D. Hey, hold on. Not a chance! <laughs> <laughs> or to destroy well, your artifact, yes, okay. <laughs> Uh, pass the turn. Wow! I'm gonna untap, upkeep, draw. You could have definitely blown up the soul ring. <laughs> I could have like like clothed He can have mana, he can't give this thing hex for I'm not cool with that. Yeah, clothe this trigger. So that is in the graveyard. This is in the graveyard, that's in the graveyard, that's in the graveyard. So I'm gonna be That being said, I got shit. I'm actually interested in the mana right now. Yeah. Oh. So I'm gonna exile that and add one red. Probably Actually, I'm gonna add one green, not that it matters. Holy, why is it gonna be so serious? Bro? I'm gonna tap this for green, I'm gonna play Shigeki Jukai Visionary. Ooh. Oh, okay. What? Oh, <laughs> yeah, 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 that one's sweet. Yep. Uh, I could add uh, one green, one colors, tap it, return it to my hand, and, uh, and reveal top four cards, put a land and play tapped. The rest go to the rest graveyard. The rest go to the graveyard. But then it has this channel ability, yeah. where you can pay XX green green, and X whatever X equals, you can get that many of the te specific types of cards from your graveyard. It's really cool. For my next trick, here's a harsh mentor. Oh no. How harsh? <laughs> how, how harsh of you? Um, We're gonna pass. Untap. Well, okay. Draw. No, we did not draw all that. Chris, you know what? Let's do, let's do this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know what? I actually need that. That's the only land in my hand. <laughs> <laughs> So I'm gonna tap for four. I'm gonna play an Ivy Lane Denizen. Whenever another green creature enters the battlefield under my control, put a 1 1 counter on target creature. And is unfortunately not legendary. Um, but I will move to combat. Foley, I'm gonna poke you for three. Uh, Adrian, I'm gonna poke you for three. I, I'm cool with three. Yeah, I'm cool with three. And I'm gonna pass after that. Oh, okay. Um, tap, up, keep, draw four. <gasps> Turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's a land. Wow, must be nice. <sighs> <laughs> Oh, you didn't play land for turn? Oh, did you miss your land trap for turn? 
Fully did a donkey. And missed I did a donkey, but that's okay. Oh. We're already way past it, so we, you know, fully normally I'd let you, but this is for a video. Yeah, yeah so, so it's, it's okay. It's okay. You, but now I gotta skewer you in front of the internet. Yeah, no, you're I'm, okay. gonna, I'm gonna play this Riverguard Pathway. I tell you what, I'll play the blue side. You can have the red side. Okay, you got yeah. it. I'll play Riverguard Pathway as my land for turn, and um, that's a thing. Two more life. <laughs> wow, Gavi Nest Warden. She's here. She's Bay. Then I'm gonna cycle for free, miscalculation. I will not exile it to containment construct. I'll just put it in the bin. Gobby's gonna be like, bruh, bruh. I see you did that. Make a you. And then I'll draw a Yu-Gi-Oh card. Pass turn. Beep beep. Draw for turn. Uh, I'm going to play a reflecting pool in my land for turn. Um, and then I'm going to enter combat. Uh, triple block. Hey man, it wasn't you. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to uh, attack the guy with 40. Yeah. Oh, uh, I don't know if you want to block or not. I have no idea what that card does, but I'm attacking the trigger venture. I'm going to make a treasure token. Yeah, you do that. I'm not going to block. This now, is Nadar's not his commander, but because of Calvin's history with uh, dungeon cards, he has developed a an emblem with whatever a creature with that references dungeon hits you. It's commander damage. <laughs> Rats. Yes, yes, I'm taking three damage. Wow. Yeah, what you going to do? You know, and let's introduce another mechanic. Isha. <laughs> That's a mechanic. Ah, I would have done that main phase. One, I'm going to play more Chase's Decree. Oh, is it Monarch? I'm the Monarch, and if you attack me or a Planeswalker Control, you lose a life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Um, I'm the Monarch. Ta-da. You know what? I'm going to spend that treasure now, actually. I'm playing Sky Knight Vanguard, and then with that, I'm going to do this thing where I move to my end step. Yeah, draw card. You love to see it. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Let's... Please play your land, but first, Clothis. Um, one of those. Which one do you want? This one. Miscalculation? Yeah. We all take two? Yep, you all take two. I gain one. All right. Um, let's play a forest. And... Pass the turn. No. <laughs> I'm going to go two and play a Talisman of Impulse. And... How very impulsive of you. You're a funny guy. How did we ever... How did we get so lucky to get you, Chris? Uh, see, what happened was... Uh... Oh, you see, what had happened was... Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> See what happened was I untapped, I moved to my upkeep, I drew a card, you saw me draw the card, and you were like, hey, that's pretty sweet, you want to come play magic with me? And I'm like, yeah, that sounds like a great idea. Drew the land. So then, I uh, drew the land, it's a city of brass, uh, and then after that we uh, decided to tap for some some number of mana. Some non-zero amount of mana. Yeah. Greater than zero, less than five. Yeah. Less than six, could be equal to five. Yeah, you're right. So we're going to tap for four, I'm going to use a, I'm going to have a colorless floating, uh, I'm probably not going to use it, but I'm going to cast Rehan. All right, so the Rehan, yeah, and we'll keep that in the command zone. Uh, yeah, yeah, And then I'll uh, get the Shredded Sails back to my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. That doesn't work. <laughs> so this is going to enter the battlefield. Uh, it will enter with three counters. Uh, this will trigger Yoshimaru to get a counter. And then this will trigger Ivalane Denizen. I can get, put a counter anywhere. Anywhere I choose. That's wild. Huh? So where would I want to go? Uh, sir, it, oh, it is on target creature. <laughs> mm -hmm. Little buddy, oh, make no. a friend. Come no. be your friend. Uh, no. <laughs> Uh, he's a very angry dog. He doesn't like you. Um, that's bullshit. Actually, instead of being here, uh, it will be here. Nope, oh, that's one. There you go. Uh, I want to move to combat. Yeah, I'm not. Uh, gonna... Hey, Calvin. I'm gonna show fear. I want to draw some cards. Yeah. I'm gonna swing at you for four and three, so seven total. I lose two life. Uh, seven total. I'll take seven. Yeah, I'm the monarch. Yay! Uh, you want this? Is it right? Yeah. Joint. Here you go, Chris. Monarch. Uh, main phase two. I'm gonna tap this, lose a life. We'll take a damage, and then I'm gonna activate Willow Dust because I took three damage this turn. I get to put three counters somewhere. Actually, I took five damage. Yo, I get to so put five counters. Five counters. Somewhere. Five. Chris. Five whole. Counters. Hey man, you ever thought about like chilling out just a little bit? You yeah, know, just fucking yeah. relaxing. Yeah, yeah, not doing that. Yeah, I'll chill out. It's fine. It's this fine. is just gonna be. It's gonna be a nightmare. Don't worry. That just became a, the fuck Saint Bernard. Went from being a Chihuahua to being a Saint Bernard. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm after fucking that, done. Can I draw a card? Yeah, go for it. I'm gonna pass her. You drew one first. The disrespect. All right. Wasn't that cool? You're so cool. I've seen the future. I'm gonna make a real the Everwise. Hey, yeah. that's hey, that's good. Yeah, yeah, it sure is. Um, I'm gonna plane cycle Angel of Runes, but Riel's gonna see me discard it, and I'm gonna draw a card. Which Gobby's gonna see, and I'm gonna make a Dino Cat, which Containment Construct's gonna see, but I'll leave it there. Crazy. Okay. Is this all cool? Yes. Yeah. No, but you're gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna get Irrigated Farmland. 
Think about that. Oh, I get it. I've thought I'm about that. Everyone I'm think. I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Think about how cool that is. Oh man, you could you could cycle it. I've already used my free cycle, but if I pay two life and go to 27, just like Calvin. Um, I can cycle this irrigated farmland. And then he gets to draw. And I'll draw a card, but containment constructs is that and I'll exile it and I'll draw this card. Oh crazy. Now I'll play it from exile. Wow. <laughs> wow, Adrian, how did you get so smart? Um, after that, um, you know, I gotta wave the monarch too. Sheesh. You know, but it's not safe to attack you at all. It's a 3-3? Three, three. Yeah, That's a three, your only three. blocker? My only blocker. Sheesh! All right, Chris, I'll come at you for one, t doesn't have death touch? No. One, two, three, four. You know, that's not, that's not very cash money of you. But I will kill your dino cat. Cool. Take two. You're the monarch. I'm the monarch. Calvin's gonna hit me now. Right. Yeah, he's gonna punch you. I'll move to my end stuff and pass. Attacking is dumb and stupid. Attacking is dumb and Attacking stupid. Attacking is dumb and stupid. stupid. And uh, mostly stupid. Oh shit. I'm going to play this uh, Arid Mesa, right? <clears throat> yeah. That changed it all. And then, Roy, 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 Roy. Then I think I'm going to tap uh, one, two, three. Uh, I'm going to play Ishin. <gasps> I'm going to enter combat. Wild. Um, I am going to throw. I have no flyer, oh. so that's like um, yeah, a free so real estate. Fun fact: so this guy is going to come after Adrian. Yeah. And I think, I think I'm interested in bringing Foley down a bit more. Yeah. Uh, oh, why? Because he's group slug, and we're all sub thirty now. Yeah. Yeah. So Foley, I'm coming after you with this. But wait. Yep. Trigger, trigger. Lots of triggers. But wait. Trigger, yeah. trigger. Okay. And this is what we're going to do, right? Uh huh. So we're gonna send this one one at Adrian, and this one one at Adrian. They both fly. No, they don't fly. Okay. However, venture, venture, right? Mm. Um, I'm going to big brain. This one has minus four, minus zero. Just okay. so you can't yeah. block and kill uh, Nadar, which puts this at three. Yeah. Venture. I'm gonna draw a card. Yeah. So that happens. It's not dead. It's not dead. Okay. It's only minus to power. No. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. So this uh is a completed dungeon. Mm -hmm. These all have two power. They have two power. Yeah. Got it. But they don't fly. Uh, this one flies, but... but th So th I'm taking two in the air no matter what. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move to blocks. Yes. Um, I'd like to put Riel in front of a 2-2. Two -two. Yes. And I'd like to put a 2-2 two -two in front... No, wait. You know what? No. I'm going to... You know, the script, I reversed it. I'm going to cycle cast out Tagavi. Yes. I'm going to use Riel's ability and draw... I'm going to draw a card from that and then a card from cycling. And then Gabi's gonna make a two two, mm -hmm. and Wild. then I'd like to block one and one, just try to trade off tokens. Yeah, that's fine. But I will take two, and you will become the monarch. I'm gonna move my own blocks. Yeah, I'm gonna pay three, and I'm gonna play Harrow. Harrow. Okay. I'm gonna sack two forests. <clears throat> what does this mean? I'm gonna get two basic lands into play untapped. Oh, oh you, you sack one. Yeah, you oh, only sack one. one. You only Sorry, yeah. one. Yep. Sorry. I'm gonna get a forest and a mountain. Way better than you thought. Yeah. <laughs> And then, I'm going to block and dar with Shigeki before damage. Are you going to activate? I'm going to activate it. So, Shigeki. yeah, for what it's worth, we're still before damage, but this is happening, right? Yeah. Our tokens are trading. Cool. We'll just yeah. work at that. Absolutely. Put this back in my hand. Does it reveal the top four? Yeah, well, I don't... You, you mill the top four, basically. Reveal, right? Yeah. Reveal the top four. Put a land into play. I'm going to put Glacial Chasm into play. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I guess Just as we wrote it up in our script. I'm gonna sacrifice this four. Hold on, no, let me check my script really quick. Um, he he sent off the uh, update this morning. I can't read. And yeah. then, <laughs> Wandering Archaic, Ruic Thar, and Stryonic Resonator go to the bin. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Normal things. Yep, yeah. and then, yeah. Um, and then he takes no damage. Well, I, I had blocked it. Block. Okay. So, yeah. fun facts there. I'm gonna do this fun thing where I move to end step and I'm yep. gonna draw. Yep, and then fully turn up into a thing. Cool. I'm gonna untap. Upkeep. I am going to pay two life. Okay. Draw. And we'll hit cast off. Cast off? Yeah, you got it. And then we all take two? You all take two, I gain two. Um, here's that gemstone caverns that was pretty useless. <laughs> so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna go three. Think we're gonna play a spell shock. Think oh, is that? Whenever a player casts a spell, it's gonna deal two damage to that player. I like that one, that's good. Wow. We're gonna play a rampaging ferocidon. Menace, players can't gain life, and whenever a creature enters the battlefield, it's gonna deal one damage to that creature's controller. Go ahead. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This is very important. The okay. end of Foley's turn. Oh, yeah. He's going to cycle. I'm going to cycle. I thought about... I've got the Star Storm, which I could technically save and try to wipe the board. But I... How many cards do you have in hand, Calvin? Five. I don't like where that leaves me with a Spell Shock and play at 23, the lowest light total. So I'm going to cycle. <laughs> I'm going to cycle this Star Storm, which Riel's going to see. Technically, this is going to be the case. I'm going to get another one. 
And we'll you add... lose one life to Rampage of Frostodon. Yep. And I'll add two of these cards to my hand. And then I uh, should have done that in a different order. But yeah, you're up, Chris. On tap. Upkeep. Draw a magic card. Oh, I was supposed to take two damage from my own spell shock if I did that in that order. Which you did. Which you did. Yeah. I uh, forgot that this is also symmetrical. I think what we wanted to do is I actually just want to pass the turn. Wow. Okay. At the end of your turn, <laughs> nothing. On tap. <laughs> yes. Draw. <laughs> Whoa, he did it. He got there. I don't like where this is going. He got the beans. I'm going to play Command Tower with my life turn. Boop. There it is. Boop. Boom. There it is. Oh, guys. Yeah. Gotcha. We're here playing magic, right? Yeah. yeah. Cool. Yeah. I'm gonna keep taking life off this, and I, I just get hit whenever I cast a spell, right? Yeah. For two? Astral Slide. Uh-huh. Right. Right, right. Oh! Right. Are you gonna flicker right. Riel? Don't and... fucking <laughs> worry about stuff, all right? You are constantly worried about the fine print, and there is, there's never any- Hey, hold up. I don't like where this is going. See, you, you get to flicker my creatures and make them lose all their counters, and I- Listen, Chris. Oh wait, never mind. I have the other. You're good. You're matter. good. It's fine. Yeah, you know. It's fine. You have a point there, but I still don't like where this is going. Yeah, I'm not really a fan. Me either. I'm going to. Uh. Uh. uh, 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 uh die. I agree. That sounds like a great idea. I'm gonna pass. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna keep. You yeah, yeah. Fine. I'm just gonna... <laughs> What, you don't want to take a bunch of damage? Become a patron so we can afford a new tablet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Link in the description. <laughs> Link in the description. Blood Crypt. Blood Crypt. And untap. I, I guess I'm going to cast a spell. Yeah, that sounds, sounds good. good. That makes sense. Um, which means I got to tap a red, and a red, and then one, two, three. Ta-da. Ta-da. Casting the spell by the name of Goldspan Dragon. That Trigger spell shot. Resolves. Yay. Yeah, that's a really good one, too. You ever played Standard? Enter combat. We're gonna chill out for a second. I'm gonna stop you there. Okay. Listen, Calvin, it's not personal. I just have cards in my hand. Does, does Goldspan say spell or ability? No, just spell. Okay. I know, I, I play this card. I'm gonna cycle for free. Astral Drift? What? Yeah. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Yeah. So I'm not gonna I'm not gonna exile it to the containment construct, but what I will do is I'm gonna trigger the cycling ability of Astral Drift and the cycling ability of Astral Slot. And I have to I guess I trigger those before I draw the cards. Oh, did you lose life for Rampage of Frostodon with the Gold Span? Oh no, did you get what? Uh, the Gold Span? Uh, yeah, whatever feature. Oh, field. I have not. Beep. Okay, sorry. Go ahead. Um, so with both of those triggers, I'm gonna make an attempt at phasing these out, or not phasing, just exiling these. And I guess for what it's worth, because you could have responses. Um, this ability is going to get attached to Nadar, and this ability is going to get attached to Goldspan Dragon. And then, um, I think I have to pass priority because costs have been paid, but the cycling part, I believe, is still on the stack if you have interaction. No, I think that's fine. Okie dokie. I'm going to draw two cards. Yeah. And that's going to make me a dinosaur cat, um, which is just me again. And then combat is totally fuego. Oh, did you take one from me? I didn't fully. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I mean, so like, I, I attack with the Sky Knight, right? Yeah. And I guess I can attack you. Yeah, yeah, uh, I have no fly blocks. There's no so. Nadar in play, so it's just a 1-2. But these things still triggers twice. So like... Two boys. Yeah, two, two one ones are going to come into play. Where should they go to die? That's the real question. Uh -huh. I won't block. All right, they're going at you fully. I'm kidding, no, I'm kidding. I won't block. What? I won't block. No, you're good. Oh, okay, wait, no, yeah, they're, but they're going sense. at you. It makes yeah. sense to cool. block, though. Why would you not block? <laughs> I'll, 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 <laughs> yes. We can all block and kill the one one, so... Yeah, that, that, that's the moral of the story. They go anywhere and they get The biggest again. moral is I can't block one, so that's just gonna happen. You still have the Monarch though, right? Yeah, I yeah. still have the Monarch. You're still gonna take the one from there. Yeah. Um, I guess if I actually attack with this guy now, I'm gonna take two from the fucking Rampaging Frost and I'm not fine. True, that's true. Oh, no. Deal one damage to take two doesn't seem that no, good. No, I'm not <laughs> making not that trade. Cash money. Wow. So yeah, I'm gonna move to end step, I guess. I'm gonna flash in Containment Priest. Psych! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa! Lose one, did I lose one already? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. I'm gonna Deadly Rollick, uh, Containment Priest. Also, you lose two from Spell Shock, because I lose two from Deadly Rollick. Rollick, the Containment Priest? Fuck! Oh, yeah. Well, I'm gonna tap two in Plane Cycle, Sanctum Plow Beast. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna get his creatures back, is the caveat, because this is gone, and then these creatures are able to enter. Yeah. Because um, the triggers are on the stack. 
But I also get to go get a planes or an island. That's the one I'm gonna get. Gosh, which one it is. Oh, you're gonna get that one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah, it does a thing. Yeah, it does a thing. It does a cool thing. You know? yeah. that's, a, that's, a good, that's a good magic card, you know? <laughs> 1982 was the year I lost my virginity. <laughs> to my fucking mother. Oh, that's not very cash money. I mean, it's not really that <laughs> impressive. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> that was way worse than what I said. <laughs> I'm gonna get this. I'm gonna get this regear and try off the cycle. Put it in my hand, and then slide's gonna happen. This did. This happened at my end step. So this is actually gonna get locked out until Foley's end step, and you get your creatures back. Ta da! It was two. Yeah, it was two. Wait, wouldn't Nadar immediately come back into play because a drift is immediate, and this is until end of turn? No, they are both exactly the same. Oh, the beginning of the next yeah. episode. Okay. Your escape protocol is the immediate. Okay. One. But you can get my adventure. I do get adventure. Scry one. Yeah. Which, and all this happens before the monarch. Yeah. Uh, so you get to scry before you draw an yeah. and Chad. Yeah, I don't think I want that right now. Way to be a good magic player. Monarch draw. I'm going to recontain the real quick. Oh, yeah, recontain. It's nothing good. It, it's worded the bad way. Okay. Wait. Yeah, here, you, wanna, you want me to read it out loud? Yeah. Okay. Container Priest is a 2-2 with flash, and if a non-token creature would enter the battlefield and it was not cast, exile it instead. Uh, Pair with Astral Slide. Yeah. That means when I cycle, I'm just path, I'm just swordsing things minus the life gain. Untap. Upkeep. I'm going to take four. Why is that? Glacial Cosm. Glacial Cosm. Oh, you, yeah, you can just keep doing that. I forget. I forget these things. I'm going to draw. Yeah. Clovis Trigger. Yeah. Hit uh, Astral Slide. As hit Astral Slide with the, oh, Astral, Astral Drift. Drift, sorry. No, it's the, the yeah, it's the kind of the same thing. Cool. Uh, everyone's gonna lose two? Yep. Yep. I do not gain two. Fucking 12. I'm gonna pass. Okay, at the end of your turn. Yeah. This is gonna enter the battlefield. Do you have any responses to this trigger happening? Because uh, I don't have priority yet, so. Might. My ability goes in the stack, but then you can, obviously. I'm gonna generous gift the Astral Slide. You're gonna generous oh, gift Astral Slide. I have a response. This is my containment priest trigger on the stack, right? Okay, well, here's the thing, Chris. Your creatures are safe because I am at 12. Generally, I wanted to kill it and I paid you for us And I almost think it's correct to kill it. Almost. And we're at the point. end step. Here's, yeah. what, here's what I'll do. Yeah. I'll do you one better. I'm gonna cycle for free this Regear and Trial. Yeah. I'm gonna hit the Rampaging for us uh, with the Astral Slide trigger. Then I'll, I'm gonna make a Dino Cat. And the exile happens first. So the Dino Cat enters, I'm safe. And I draw two. And then, um, yeah, that's good. The slide dies, but I make a 3-3, three, three, right? Yeah. I make a 3-3. Three, three. And then, and then the rest of the end step triggers happen. And I, because that's not going to come until Chris's end step, but unless this containment priest is dealt with, it's never going to come back in. And then uh, I have no further actions after that. Still the end step. Hey, it still works out for you. Yeah. I'm going to lose a life. And then two more. And then two more. I'm going to cast an Eldarmy's Call. Oh, Diary's Call? Oh. So should, yeah. 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 I'm going to go grab Mindless Automaton. It's a four mana, zero, zero. It comes into play with two counters. I can pay one, discard a card, give it a counter, remove two counters from it, draw a card. That's pretty good. Yeah. So now I'm going to untap. Ooh, look at that. Uh, upkeep, I'm going to draw this magic card. That was a very sweet draw, but it doesn't actually help me too much right now. I'm going to tap for four, lose a life, then lose two life because I'm casting a spell. I'm going to cast his Mindless Automaton. That's good. He's going to enter with uh, two counters. Two of them. One. Two of them things. Two of them things. Uh, then I'm going to tap one, activate Will of Dusk, take another two. Yep. So I've taken five damage total. I'm going to give this five counters. Oh, no. Uh, so he's going to go to seven. Yeah, he is. Uh, then I'm going to remove two counters to draw a card. I'm going to play a land for turn. I'm going to remove two counters to draw a card. Cut it out, man. <laughs> That's awesome. Tap for one, lose a life, lose two more life. Play Heart and Scales. Oh no. Is that an Oslo and a Heart and Scales? Yes. Oh, Max McVitie, where are you? Come over here, Chris is stealing your IP. I'm gonna lose two more life, I mean not two more, I'm gonna lose two more counters and draw a card. Wait a minute, am I taking damage from this? I am actually taking damage from this. Oh. How many times have you uh, done it twice? I've done it twice. Oh, uh, I realized that was an activated ability. Ooh, it is an activated yeah, ability. Yeah, yeah, that's an activated ability. I did not He's really activating it. I didn't, realize, I didn't realize either. I totally he has the ability to activate this is the thing. Uh, I think I actually do just have to pass a turn there. At the end of your turn. We gotta get rid I gotta get rid of that. A couple things are gonna happen. Uh, yep. I'm gonna cycle Blasted Landscape to this real. Um, yeah. I'll draw two. Um, I'll make a Dino Cat. At this point, I'm gonna consolidate the Dino Cats so my board doesn't look so stupid. I'll draw two cards. 
And then um, we're gonna go to the, tr that's gonna attempt to re-enter, but it can't. Yep. On tap. Yep. Hey, at least I can gain life again. True, draw. Hall of Helios Generosity. Hey, you'll love to see it. Uh, one, two, fuck it, right? Yeah. Peregrine Drake. Hey, that's pretty good. Uh, floating one colorless. Did you leave two life? I did. You were at 14 and you're down to 10? That was at 12 and down to 10. Because that's Ancient Tomb and Spell Shock. Right, right, right. I'm at 8 now. So I was at 12, 10, 8. Um, that I was looking for my colorless floating. It's right there. So here's just a me. And there are four of me. Things that are confusing for 500. Um, what did I just do? I just float. So I've got one floating and the Peregrine Drake Triggers. Is that a thing that's cool? Yeah. Can I do that? Okay, I'm gonna use this colorless. One, two, three. Put that over here. Yeah, yeah, so that's four. And I'll play Archaeomancer, right? Yeah. Yeah, it hurts. But with the Archaeomancer, I'm going to pick up a uh, Star Storm. Cool? Yeah. And now I'm going to activate Hall of Helios Generosity and put Astral Fly on top of my deck. And for free, I'll we'll cycle Star Storm. Yeah. Yes. So that's gonna do a thing where I make another cat dog. I'm gonna draw two cards. Okay, here's what I'll do. I'm gonna go to my, wait, if I play Chrome Mox and I play Astral Slide, I go to two. Yeah. yeah. And then fully triggers, this. and I had to tap this, so I go to zero. Yeah. <laughs> Chris, you're such a guy, bro. Trust me, I already considered it. <laughs> quit. <laughs> Quit it. Stop. <laughs> I'm gonna go to discard. Is that cool? Yeah. I'm gonna pitch two fetches. Trigger containment construct. I'll exile him. Go ahead, Calvin. Nice. <laughs> Yeehaw. On tap, upkeep draw. It has to be time for me to die now, right? So I'm gonna tap like that. That's two black. Um, I'm gonna play a whip of Erebos. Okay. Ooh, take two. Yep. All of that. It's lifelink. Life it's lifelink. My it's fuckers have lifelink. Life that's a thing. We should be alarmed. Panic. Everyone panic. Say it with me. Panic. Ah! <laughs> there you go. Enter combat. Mm -hmm. Also good. Look at all of those chickens. <laughs> Look at all those chickens. I have flyers this time. Forget! I have exactly one flyer. Yeah, exactly one flyer. I think I'm motivated in making you not have exactly one flyer. It's not serious, you know? We're fine. It, that's... That guy. That he's, boy. He's fine. You know, somehow I feel like... We need to kill the Dragon Drake. Yeah, I, I think we need to kill. I think more so this needs to die so we don't die. So you don't die. So specifically, I don't yeah. die. But also, all of us. But fuck you guys, I really don't want to die to spell shot. <laughs> this fully came to fuck and he's fucking. Oh, uh, he's fucking alright. <laughs> he's fucking us over. <laughs> Trigger the Gold Span Dragon, make two treasures that tap for two each. Well, declaring I'm going to yeah. attack you that way. Um, Nadar. I'll block. Uh, you will block, and I don't want Nadar to die. So I think I'm going to have Nadar just go at a... Fully. Fully. For what it's worth, it's damage prevented. I don't know if that prevents lifelink or not. If, if you weren't to block, uh, I would not gain the life. Yeah, damage damage being prevented means that he never deals with damage. Yeah. So... But it's only know. to you, so if you block... If you block, I gain the life. If you don't, nothing happens. Yeah. You okay. want nothing to happen. Yeah. But then otherwise, I'm going to throw... Because you don't have a flyer, right? I don't have a flyer. Isn't that currently wild? I'm, I, I guess I'll throw uh, this uh, this guy at you, so for uh, Chris, and then when he makes two guys, I'll have those guys. Uh, I guess also come at you. Okay. Like you can block the guys on the ground. Yeah. Um, but trigger, trigger. I'm going to make not one but two treasures. That tap for not one but two mana That's of right. the same color. Yep. Um, and then uh, you're gonna venture not once but twice. That's nice. So I'm actually gonna make three treasures. Yeah. And, and each opponent's gonna lose a life. Yeah. Yep. And that's what happens to me. And I gain one life, um, and move to damage. Uh, uh, hell no. Else? How about blockers? Yep. Uh, I'm gonna block. <laughs> yep. I would like to block both of your... Ground guys. Ground guys and take two in the air. Yes. All right. You take nothing, you took two in the air, um, you block my ground guys, so I gain one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, yep. And then I'm going to move to my second main phase. And are you being, is damage being prevented for you? Did, hmm? What did you attack Chris with? Uh, the, he makes two guys. He said he blocked oh, the two the, guys. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But them, but them. And just to clarify, because you didn't have the tokens out, right? Chris blocked just the tokens, right? Yeah. Chris pointed at his two yeah. uh, guys right there. 
It doesn't Unlocked really that. matter. Um, yeah, yeah, just just to make sure. I guess I, it matters if you can't block someone with two toughness, yeah. but it, there, none of that exists over there. I just want to make sure when I go to edit this that like there wasn't some weird thing where he blocked other creatures and they didn't die because those are huge. Yeah, okay. yeah. Second main phase, I'm going to tap for a white, and then I'm going to crack one of these for uh, two for two black, and I'm going to cast cunning rhetoric. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. Okay, so move to end step for monarch trigger. Do you have okay. an effect? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to Roiling Regrowth. I'm going to sack the Glacial Chasm. I'm going to get two basic lands into play tapped. Okay. Um, yeah. While you're doing that, I also have an action. Um, do I? You know what? I have no actions. Proceed. I'm going to get I you. Forest and a Mountain. I'm just going to draw a card. Yeah. Because yeah. Monarch is a thing. All right. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. Cloth is trigger. Um, we'll hit. Are there any creatures in this bin? No. no. All right. Then, yeah, it's definitely me. Do, 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 do. I don't know what's good. Um, in this case, honestly, the one I would pick up is probably I do one of these two, I think, just because I do have an Archaeomancer. Yeah, I'll hit Starstorm. Starstorm, yeah. And then we all take two. You all take two. And I have game two this time. Yeah. Look at that. Ah! What the, hey guys. Ah! <laughs> oh, I took Die! Two. Sorry, I'm, this is symmetrical. I take two damage off my own roiling regrowth. Yep, yeah. We're gonna tap for four, and we're going to channel Shigeki, and yep. I'm gonna return Glacial Chasm to my hand. That's why he sacked it. <laughs> and then we're going to play it. We're going play to it. sacrifice this mountain. We're gonna tap this forest for a Utopia Sprawl. And take two? And take two. We're gonna put it on this forest. We're gonna pass. Untap. Upkeep. Draw. That is a fucking kick in the teeth if I've ever seen one in my life. The worst thing is you just can't I drew cast the spell. I drew a kitchen finx. Oh, I literally oh, cannot no. use it to save my life. It. I'm just gonna move to combat. And, yeah. And, uh, hey, Calvin, here's a, an 11 11. I mean, a 9 9. That's spooky, spooky stinky. Uh, wait, do you uh, trigger a cunning rhetoric? Oh, right, right, right. And on, trigger more chases if you die. Yeah, I yeah, die if I swing at you, actually. <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's not, not good. good. I literally can't swing at all. If you're swinging me, I'll kill it. Go ahead. Here we go. I'm it. Three? About that? You can cast one spell. If I have my way, I can do this without casting any spells. True. I'm not having my way right now. <laughs> I'm gonna tap for three. <laughs> oh, go to one. Ask for slide. <laughs> oh, God. Hey, y'all wanna cast spells? Wouldn't it be neat if I cycled this boom of the Wish Griffin or whatever and triggered Astral Slide and Riel? Are you gonna slide out that? And then I slid out the harsh mentor. Hey! Hey! Can activate abilities! Think about that. <laughs> and then I have a land drop too. Then I played this spectator seating. Yeah. Right? Right. Then I need to get this out of my hand. I'll play Chromox. You still not You play. still take two. You Wait, still that's great. Two. There's a spell shock. I can't cast spells. <laughs> I'm fully. <laughs> fully at <everyone>. one. <laughs> that's the turn. It's up. Oh, yeah, it's gone. Untap, upkeep, draw. I'm gonna move to combat. Oh man, do I have a response for you? <laughs> cycle this. This is a neutralize. That <laughs> you can't cast. It's a neutralize that I can't cast. This Astro Slide and this Real are gonna be like, bruh, 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 draw two. I'm gonna try to slide that out. Hey, and you can also slide out his commander and then the Dar and prevent yeah. him from doing stuff. I like not things. Tap for two more. The cycle cloud fairies. Bruh. Um, <laughs> Bruh. I'm at one. So actually, as it turns out, I have to slide out the thing that can hit me uncontested. <laughs> so I'm gonna slide that out <laughs> and draw a card. Um, and then here's the funny bit. <laughs> you wanna cycle I'm out of cycling cards. <laughs> so Calvin, proceed. <laughs> oh my lord. Okay. Uh, hang on. I might. I might have something. Ooh. Uh, that's not how priority works. That's fine. It's fine. I, I, I rushed it. Yeah. Um. I'm gonna make two mana. Yeah. I'm gonna use one of it to activate this. I'm gonna discard a card. Uh, hey Avenger, I'm not casting you. Uh, I'm gonna get two counters. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna remove those two counters. I'm gonna draw a card. Buy her, Uh Is that I'm, it? No. I'm gonna okay. use its ability again. I'm gonna discard uh, this fucking land. Like, that's not useful. I'm gonna get two counters. And then I'm gonna oh, use those two counters. Wait, he doesn't have to stop doing this. Uh, yes, I do, because it costs mana. Oh, it costs mana. Got it, got it. If I could make infinite mana, I could draw my deck, but it wouldn't even accomplish anything. 
you know what really sucks? Having both of these in play. <laughs> and and the city of, city of Brass. City of Bruh. <laughs> city of Bruh right now. Proceed, proceed, proceed. Combat. Yeah. yeah. I might as well just attack uh, fully. Cool. Because trigger triggered. Um, I'm going to go to draw a card. Yep. That happens. Ta da. And now I have a new dungeon. Yeah. Each player loses a life. <laughs> oh, you're a piece of shit. Oh, you garbage. <laughs> garbage, man. You should. Oh, I didn't even consider that possibility. And, like, you have Glacial Chasm, so yep. nothing has to happen. Moving on. Next main phase, right? Yeah. I'm gonna go six. I'm gonna play Morog. Yep. And he's tapped for what that's worth, I Take guess. Two. I'm going to play a Swamp. Yep. Uh -oh. You have an additional combat. I now have an additional combat. Uh, I'm going to move to that combat. This guy untaps. We will just attack fully again. Mm -hmm. All right. You get two more ventures. Okay, two more ventures. So we're going to move through Obliette, which means I have to discard this Stranglehold. I have to sacrifice this Soul Ring. I have to sacrifice this land. And I'm going to sacrifice Morog. Yeah. Fury. Ta da. But then I move to Cradle of Death. And make a 4 4. I make a 4 4. And you're out of the dungeon. Beat. Uh, I will tap the rest of my mana, go down to 18, and I'm going to cast Restoration of Aganjo. Search my library for basic planes. Put it in my hand. Mm -hmm. uh, reveal planes. Put this down. Add this to my hand. Move to my end step. Trigger, delayed trigger. There is no containment priest. These just come back. Draw a card for Monarch. I guess the only thing I could do is ask Foley to spare me for one turn. Don't do it. <laughs> Fuck Chris. Well, I, I literally can't cast a spell. There's, there is no there is no trick. I'm gonna put you out of your misery. Okay. There it is. <laughs> the, the kind uh, God. Uh, you're you're fully up? Yes. At the end okay. step, I'm going to draw a card. All right. I'm going to take myself out. Oh. <laughs> Only I can kill myself. I'm gonna draw a card. Yeah, Clothes trigger. Uh, Morog. Goodbye, we'll Morog. Um. Beep, beep, two, beep, two, beep. two. Oh, I paid two for the Glacial Chasm. Right, so. right, right. Here's a Zerta Druid. Pass turn. Now we're in just in a weird spot where mm. I need to find Chaos Warp or Generous Gift. Yep. Uh, I'm in a weird spot where I need to find my uh, Ramana exca Excavator. Yeah. Uh, this thing happens. Uh, I get to discard a card. And if I do, I get to reanimate something with mana value two or less. Think about that. Uh, Think see about this Polluted Delta? Goodbye. See this Lightning Greaves from the start of the game? Hello. Hello. Um, and then... I'm going to play that basic planes as my land for turn, and I am going to cast, like so, Delina, Wild Mage. Beep, beep. Yep. I am going to equip the Lightning Greaves to Delina, and then I'm going to enter combat. Mm hmm. All right. I can't gain life, I can't deal damage to him, but. You can get attack triggers. I can get attack triggers, including Delina's attack trigger, Nadar's attack trigger, Goldspan attack triggers, and. You know what? The Sky Knight's attack trigger. Yeah. Because we're make, we're doing stuff. Sky Knight is going to come with two 1-1s. One -ones. You can do whatever you want to those guys. I can't. I, I, oh, that is a creature. They are creatures. So, like, Wait, one, what's a creature? two, three, the one four, ones five, six. No, it's still not a creature. Not a creature Wait. Yet. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it is a creature. The Atlanta War Elves. Yeah. You've got a, yeah, you've got a pair of creatures down there, but yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, We'll block... No, we won't. Let me declare it nonsense. This this happens. Uh, this is gonna make me two treasures. This is gonna give me two ventures. This is gonna give me two clones. Yep. The clones are tapped and attack. Not legendary. They're tapped and attacking. It's in the dark. You also have to roll the die. Yes. Uh, so you you get. One uh, so there's two venture triggers on the stack. We're gonna resolve uh, Delina first. Yep. The first one is ten. ten. So we want ten. Just so one. just one more. And the second one. Just, just two more. So four venture triggers. All I, all I get is four venture triggers. That's no big deal. I'm all, no block, by the way. Uh, that's probably for the best because while the dark, the, these fake Nadars are out, I would get a bigger power. Yeah. Dungeon of the Mad Mage. Yep. Uh, I'm gonna gain a life. I'm gonna scry one. I'm gonna have target creature not attack I next turn, attack. which yeah. is gonna be Clothis, just in case. Yeah. Well, Clothis is a Clothis a creature. Yes. Right now, yeah. Okay, got it. And then I scry two. So, closest can't attack, I get to scry one, and then scry two, and I also gain a life. Glacial Cousin says I can't attack anyway, but... Two of them. Yeah. This guy, this two, scry... Scry one, one, and then scry two. And then I'm gonna scry two. 
this one to the bottom. Then I'm going to move to end step. Did you get two treasures from Goldsman? Yep, they're right here. Okay. Move to end step. Right. Ta-da. Good? Yeah, go ahead. Cool. Untap, upkeep, draw. Trigger Clothus. Trigger Clothus. Uh, let's hit, here, let me see. Let me actually see this. Let's hit Deadly Relic. Deadly Relic's done. You're gonna take two, I'm gonna gain two. Yep. And then I'm gonna lose four for a Glacial Chasm. So I only lose two. And then he takes two? Yep. I'm gonna play, tapping Zerta Druid, so you're gonna take one from Zerta Druid. I'm gonna play Zozu the Punisher. Whenever land enters the battlefield, is gonna deal two damage to that land's controller. Okay. Uh, pass. I'm gonna untap, upkeep, draw for turn. Higanjo says, hey, what if I was something else? Ta-da. We are going to tap, I guess we'll crack one of these uh, treasures for two black. I'm gonna cast them on tutor. I'm gonna find generous gift. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put my tutor into the graveyard. I'm going to cast the generous gift. Yeah. Targeting the uh, glacial chasm, chasm. Yeah. which does get you the thing. I'm gonna lose two more life. I'm gonna cast Hero Blade Hold. Move Latent Greaves to Hero Blade Hold. Here it comes. And combat. Fully well, remember what you did the earlier earlier yeah. animation. Here we go. Uh, we'll, we'll just hold him back because we don't need it. Uh, the Dar and Atropel and these one ones. Actually, they're two twos right now. This one two. This four four. This Hero Blade Hold. This Delina. All these are attacking. All of these have combat triggers. This Delina is gonna be the first thing that resolves targeting the Nadar. Two. Two? So just one more Nadar? Yup. We're at two more Nadars? Yep. Three more Nadars. Three more Nadars? Four Nadars. Four Nadars. Beep beep. Four more ventures. They're all, they're also all pumping his team. Yeah, so that's yeah. an extra, so that's Nadar than plus five. Right? Yeah. And then this is, I'm not doing the math. That's Battle Cry. So that's gonna be from Battle Cry, which triggers twice, it's plus one, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Well, yeah, it's, well, it's, before it's, anything else, I make my creature tokens. Yeah, and then he makes creature tokens. Yeah, no, that's like, yeah. Are you super dead? Is that, is this not four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen? 16, 17, 18? You're dead fully. This was my next card. What is that? Crawl space. Oh no. It was, his next card was crawl space, but he's dead. Yeah. Oh. Can't cast the crawl space when you're dead. Thank you so much for watching. As always, Subscribe to PewDiePie.